let's start dear students with another beautiful imagery full of imagery poem thistles by ted hughes now i'm focusing on the text and i'll just give you a little bit of introduction about the poem thistles is a short poem that focuses on the qualities of the thistle the language of the poem is powerful and instinctive nature is being portrayed as a battleground with violent struggle blood death and regeneration as the major themes of the poem the poem also is in fact an extended metaphor for ongoing strife specifically the ongoing nature of the war between humans and the natural world now ted hughes here takes the readers right into the pricky world of thistles using hard consonants broken rhythm and unusual syntax to explore the nature of a plant that according to the poet is more of a warrior than a collection of shaped cells as you all know thistles is a name of a plant thistles the poem first appeared in the book vodu in 1967 and it is the fourth publication of ted hughes now uh, it is written in free verse the poem and uh, there are four stanzas in the poem of 12 lines each there is no rhyming scheme and there is no consistent metrical pattern or beat in the poem now let's come to the text against the rubber tongues of cows and the hooing hands of men thistles spike the summer air and crackle open under a blue black pressure now the first line is a long and rambling 15 syllables language which is mostly iambic so it has an initial steady beat which eventually breaks up the poem begins with a preposition against and uh, you all know what the meaning of against against basically means opposing opposition against the rubber tongues of cows and the hooing hands of men the opening line creates a contrast between the sensitive flesh of a cow and the human tongue and hand and the thistle's spikiness it is against both the curling tongue that helps a cow eat and the working hand that helps the human make a living so see the contrast we can see here about the tongue of the cow which is curled and hoeing hands of course is also a alliteration here and it says the hands which helps the human make a living working hands hoeing hands means working hands these are essentials the tongue and the hand whilst it is implied that the thistle exist merely to oppose them thistles spike the summer air simply because of what they are they crackle because of a self imposed pressure this suggests a natural tension again a sharp contrast to the balmy calm summer season so we can say that the poem opens and sends their seeds out under this blue black pressure which is an echo of something which is blue seed and something which is dark so this is what is an introduction or a kind of a background that has been set of the poem thistles by ted hughes in the first four lines that is the first stanza we'll continue with the second third and the fourth stanza in the next class thank you